I want to talk to you now about product sourcing and where you can get your products from. You know, everything that you sell has to come from somewhere. It has to be produced somewhere. It has to be manufactured. And uh, most likely, you won't get it directly from the manufacturer. You can. You should try. But sometimes it comes from distributors. If you're offering a service, there's still going to be components to providing that service. Uh, if you're cutting grass, for instance, you're still going to need gasoline for your, for your cutting machine. Or you're still going to need new blades or new belts or you know, other parts. Uh, but more for selling a product, where do you get it from? Uh, in this section, I want to talk more about uh, platforms that you can go to to get your products. Um, most people will say that uh, they get a majority of their products from China. Uh, a lot of uh, product platforms are out of China. Uh, the most prevalent I can think of is Alibaba. And it's most prevalent because it's comprehensive. I mean, almost every manufacturer in the world is present on Alibaba. And so you'll go there and you'll either find exactly what you want to buy and sell or you'll find people who make a product similar to what you want to make. Uh, but Alibaba is going to be the platform you can go to if you really want to get down to the fundamental manufacturing of products. If you want a little bit more finished products or branded products, you take uh, a, step, uh, a step back from that, and that is you know, AliExpress will have more consumer ready to use products. Uh, you'll sort of lose touch with the manufacturer a little bit, and now you're dealing more with, uh, uh, you know, usable products uh, that have possibly branding associated with them. Uh, if you really want it to be a brand that you're very familiar with, uh, you might want to consider using eBay. Uh, a lot of people use eBay who are doing liquidation or uh, their distributors already so they already have the best price possible, or <clears throat> they have it used, or they bought it new, but they're just selling it because they decided not to use it at all. Um, so you can sell things from these platforms, or you can sell on these platforms yourself. You can become a seller, and where you get your product from is uh, up to you. Uh, but generally, your options are manufacturer or distributor, or branded company, or uh, a few others that we will cover in another section called alternative sourcing ideas. Um, so I just want to talk about a few platforms in this section real quick. Uh, eBay, of course, Alibaba. Uh, Alibaba is almost the only one you need to say. Um, AliExpress. Uh, and if you want to go branded, contact that brand specifically. If you want to sell Nike products, contact Nike and see what they'll say. Uh, or uh, if you want to sell Whirlpool uh, washing machines, contact Whirlpool and see what they say. They probably have an affiliate program, or they probably have a wholesaler program. You may have to register with them as a distributor, uh, so you would need to get some sort of licensing as a distributor, or you would need to demonstrate for them that you have a, a potential customer base already, so that maybe there's some development involved. But also, maybe not, especially if you're dealing with newer brands or up-and-coming brands. Um, in terms of, let's say, guitars, uh, becoming a distributor for Gibson would probably have a lot more requirements than becoming a distributor for a newer brand like uh, Reverend, who makes an excellent electric guitar. Uh, probably you could set up a, a small operation selling Reverend guitars much easier than Gibson, because Gibson needs you to have a certain overhead to even waste their time. Uh, you know, business to business providers, uh, I would say those are probably distributors and middlemen. Um, they specialize in uh, providing you with products, so they are going to leave you some opportunity to still make money. Um, it's controlled. They know exactly what you're going to sell it for, and they've tailored the price that they charge you accordingly. So they're trying to get as much as they can. Negotiation matters. Uh, doing a manufacturer search either getting them to make your own product uh, for you or uh, seeing what they already offer. We talk about that extensively in uh, product development and invention development sections of this course. You might want to check that out. Uh, and then, you know, there's also Amazon. And uh, 
The problem with eBay and Amazon is you might not find a consistent source of supply. But for instance, if you're doing a boutique store or a boutique website where you have all different kinds of brands just of what you think is interesting and like, then product sourcing off eBay and just finding one thing at a good price here and, oh, that's a good deal, let me get that before it's gone. Uh, shoes, for instance. Uh, uh, one example is that I have a favorite shoe, which is called Sacconi, and they had a series for a while called Mono. So they just had, it was the shoe in just a single color. Everything about the shoe was a singular color. And I knew that, that quantities were running out. There was 10 people who were selling it, and slowly but surely they started to run out and uh, they don't make that shoe anymore. Like most shoes companies, they manufacture something for a limited engagement. And you could actually, if you were watching it, you could see when they started to run out of this product. Uh, uh, merchants who were selling it started to disappear. They just didn't have it anymore. And so I bought like three pairs of this one shoe that I like, and I have one left, and I'll never be able to find it again. Except I found one guy in Spain who had some, but he was charging 50% more than I ever paid. In some instances, I paid $60, and if you want to buy it from him, you're going to pay $120. And probably by now, it's even more, because that is several years old, it's gone, and it was very popular. So it's one way of doing business. Uh, so think about your sourcing. Sourcing platforms can be a, a really good option for you uh, to uh, simplify your uh, sourcing experience. So good luck with that.